Hi everybody, 314 Reactor here. I've made an RGB lightsaber. I see you've constructed a lightsaber. Impressive. Emperor Palpatine? How is this possible? You died in Jedi. You fell down a big pit. The power of the dark side does whatever the plot requires. Okay. Strike me down, and my power will transfer to you. Right, and what if I don't strike you down? Yeah, don't think about it. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities, some considered to be unnatural. Join forces with me, and we can conquer the galaxy. Is this the script for the film? We can also talk about oh, who wrote this? All right, get out. Yes, let the hate flow. Anyway, as I was saying, this is my RGB lightsaber. It's made using an Arduino Nano, a DF Robot Mini MP3 player, a rotary encoder with an RGB LED built into it, and a Pixie LED. Now the Nano controls all the main functions. The DF player has the MP3s on for the sounds. You can probably hear the sound that's coming through right now. It's not as loud as I want it to be but the sound is coming through using a bone conductor which is strapped to the blade here. Now a bone conductor is a speaker that turns whatever it's attached to into a speaker to transmit sound from. So for example, if you had a big enough bone conductor, you could put it on a table and it would turn the table into a speaker. It's essentially what I've done here, but it's a bit quiet. I should have probably put a amplifier on it and put a bit more power through it, but it still makes a sound. Of course it makes the on and off sound. So press the button. and that whole sound is coming from the plastic here. The plastic rod is a solid rod that I brought from simplyplastics.com, so thanks to them, it's really good quality. The previous lightsaber that I made used a hollow cylinder, which didn't propagate the light as well, so this time I went for a solid rod, got the measurements right, just about right for a lightsaber in terms of width, etc. And I think the length is more on par with what a lightsaber should be. I should have made the rod a bit longer because a lot of it goes in the handle here. I used a similar plastic rod for my ASMD shock rifle, which I'll also link below. And yeah, I think it propagates the light very, very nicely. You'll also notice that it keeps cutting out every couple of seconds, the light. I think that's because when it plays the MP3 through the MP3 player, it uses uh, the software serial connection, I think. Uh, and so does the Pixie, so I think they interfere with each other, which is a shame. Yeah, whenever the MP3 replays, it basically cuts out the light for a second. So I could reprogram it to not play the buzzing sound and only play the blade on and blade off sounds, but I think this is kind of an okay sacrifice. Uh, I'll have to try and find a way around it in future. I can just say it uses an unstable kyber crystal or something like that. The RGB rotor encoder comes in handy for changing the colors of the lightsaber to be customized whatever you want. So, as you can see there, it flicks through the colours, so you press it once, red, and then green, and then blue, and then whatever colour that is, is whatever colour you're adjusting by turning the rotary encoder. So for instance, if I turn on back to red, I can turn the red off, and then I can slowly crank it up, so I'll get more and more red over time, like so. And of course you can mix the colors, so you can turn it right up high red, like that. And you can flick over to blue. And there you go, you've got Mace Windu's lightsaber. So you can pretty much get whatever color you want out of it. So let's try something else. Let's turn the blue off. Let's switch to green and slowly start turning that up. So you can see we've got a nice orange colour there, and then obviously the further you crank up the green, it starts to turn yellow. If we turn it all, up all the way, it gets kind of a nice lime, greeny sort of colour. You can flick it over to red, turn the red completely off. Then you've got a nice green lightsaber, just like Luke's. You can turn that all the way off as well. And then fully up to a blue one just like Anakin's. And of course you can hear the blade sound just there as I'm moving it around. But the sound actually doesn't change, it's just playing the same loop over and over again. It doesn't sound great, like I say, but 
it still kind of gives that impression of a sort of buzz as you're swinging it around as opposed to silence. And then of course the off sound, and the on sound. Now whatever colour you've selected will be remembered so you can turn it off, and then you can, you know, flip the colours around a bit while it's off. And then when it comes back on you've got that colour again. It's all powered from a 9 volt battery there, that seems to have enough juice to keep the whole thing going. It's definitely providing enough juice, that's not why that's cutting out, because you can see the LED does not dip out on the actual Arduino Nano itself. The LED just flashes on the MP3 player, which just means it's loading an MP3. So I think my favourite colour of the lightsaber is full on blue and a little bit of red to kind of make it a kind of subtle purpley sort of colour, like that. Looks really, really nice, and it's a lot better made than the prior one I made, which was a very messy with the wires. It didn't play a buzzing sound consistently, and it was very difficult to get working to change colours because I used a colour sensor on it. Again, I'll link that below. But you essentially had to point a colour sensor at an object, and it would turn into that colour. But it wasn't that great. Whereas this just allows you to completely customise it whatever way you want, and obviously it feels a lot more solid. The colour's a lot more better. Let's show it in the light a bit. I'm going to move it around a bit with this colour, you can just see it there, with the lights on, and then the lights off. And there we go, lights up the room very, very nicely, really cool to hold this and move it around. Let's experiment a bit more with some colours, so let's turn blue completely off, there we go. So we've got totally red. Let's go to green again. Oh yes. Orange lightsaber. You don't see too many of those. Very, very nice. Let's turn red all the way off. Crank up the green. And crank a bit of blue in. Should give us a nice turquoisey lightsaber. Yep, there we go. Very nice. Oh, that's cool. Yep, yeah, that's cool. All right, it's time to turn the lights back on. If there's any way you know for me to improve this, such as stopping the MP3 player interfering with the Pixie LED, please do let me know. Please try and build this yourself. Obviously be safe with it with all the soldering and stuff, but all the instructions are now below, so if you can make one that's better than mine, uh, please go ahead. I should really like 3D print something for it, but what I did for the handle was just get the cardboard roll that the plastic came in and then put a load of tape around it because, you know, why not upcycle? Looks a bit better than the last one as well. The last one was very messy. Let's do a comparison actually. So yeah, this is the, this is the original one that I made a couple of years ago and this is the new one. So yeah, much better, much tidier. I would boot this one up, but it's got no battery on it and I think it might be broken. Yeah, it looks a bit broken. So yeah, definite improvement over the last one. Next time I may 3D print a proper handle for it and everything and maybe get the battery a bit better on there, get a bit of a better bottom, just generally improve it all. But I think this is a good improvement. This is a lot of fun, a lot more stable, really good to work with, it makes cool noise. So please like and subscribe. There's links to how to make this down below on my Hackster, my Electromaker, my webpage. And I'll also link my Twitter down there as well so you can go down there and follow. Keep an eye out for future projects. I try and upload every week, gaming videos and tech videos, stuff like that. So yeah, stick around and I'll see you in the next one.